with the Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. Do you remember any interview questions for getting into your programs? I do know that they looked at our transcripts, so I'm not sure um, if if for other programs if they do that. But I remember one of them was, I mean, I, I didn't have the best grades in college, to be honest. But they, if you repeat a class, you know, you can, they'll take the second grade, right? So a lot of times programs will allow you to, to repeat a class and get the second better grade. And they'll ask you, like, why they'll ask you about your transcript like you know what happened did you have any personal issues things like that and I think that it's important to let people know in your interview like kind of your process how your pro like the process of Mm -hmm. trying to get into the program is like your personal experiences and they kind of get to know you more and why you want to be part of the program Um, and so that kind of gives them an opportunity to see what kind of person you are also Mm -hmm. another question they ask is like how do you do in like hard situations difficult situations because they want to see that you're able to get through hard stuff in the program like the program is not easy and so they want to make sure that you're ready and capable to do whatever it takes to finish that program i think they're they're willing to take the person with i mean you don't have to have the highest gpa of course we want you to have a high gpa right but they want to take the person who's willing to to get through and persevere so i think it's important to show your personalities with those kinds of questions you know phlebotomy is very laxed compared to i think your your profession so when i i did my phlebotomy program i was actually still a senior in high school and so (laughs) yeah i was in my my second spring semester of uh, senior year awesome and i knew when i when i was getting out of high school i wasn't going to go to a university right away i knew i was going to go um to community college but i also didn't want to work a minimum wage job and so Phlebotomy was something very easy to get into. So I pretty much just showed up at the trade school. Um, They said, yeah, if you're going to be graduated by the time you take your national exam, that's fine. Um, But that was pretty much it. I really just had to pay uh, to get in. Um, So not really on the program side. Um, And it Um, Giselle is absolutely right. They want to know if if you take that seat in that classroom, are you the right person? Right? Are you going to make it happen? So... Um, I remember in, in my interview, um, you know, one of the things that the director asked is, is do I work? So that was the main concern because the, the, the program was going to be a full-time thing. Um, and I, I said I worked part-time um, when I was really working full-time because I had to, I, I had bills to pay. Um, so I didn't want to let my director know or future director know that um, because it'd be very difficult to manage a full-time job and a full-time program. I don't care who you are. It's, it's going to be tough. Um, so luckily I had a job that had a flexible schedule, but I always chose school first. School mm-hmm. always came first because that was my, that was my goal. That was my long-term thing. 